that chopper, as you just heard from Mr. Hellis. So now, for his first TV interview, a pilot of Williams Chopper is speaking out. His name is Chief Alan Kelly, and he joined me earlier from Minneapolis. Chief Alan Kelly, thanks for joining me. Oh, thank you for having me. Is it right to say that Brian Williams was aboard your helicopter and not aboard the helicopter that was shot at in Iraq that day? That's correct. He was aboard my aircraft that uh, day in March. What was your aircraft doing, and was it ever within sight of the Chinook that was shot at? Uh, my aircraft, along with my uh, the Chalk 1, I was Chalk 2 in a flight of two Chinooks. We were carrying bridge pieces up to the Euphrates. We were afraid they were going to blow the bridges, and we wanted to make sure uh, 3rd ID had the capability of crossing the Euphrates. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as the Chinook from Big Windy that was shot down, we were not within visual range of them, and they would have to be almost on top of us with the sandstorm that we were flying through in order to get up there. So what sort of distance was there between your helicopter uh, with Brian Williams aboard and the helicopter that did take fire? Well, that would be difficult to, uh, to ascertain. We, we both took off in separate serials. Uh, the big windy crew, my understanding, was two aircraft, and they had hooked up with their loads ahead of us. So initially, we were probably a half hour behind them. But with the sandstorms, the weather that we ran into, we had to slow up. I'm sure they did as well. So it, it's anybody's guess the exact distance, but I'd say it was probably somewhere between 15 and 30 minutes. Do you think it's possible that, that Williams and his crew thought they were being shot at? Is there anything that happened on your flight that, that may have seemed like there was an attack? Anything's possible. It's, uh, they're sitting in the back. I don't remember if they were hooked up on headsets or not and could hear what's going on. Um, we had a lot of stuff going on on the radios. We had a couple of aircraft that were calling in for help. They were being shot down, Big Windy being one of them. Um, so, Mr. Williams in the back, he, you know, he's free to look out the windows back there. Uh, he wouldn't see much. If he was on headset and heard the uh, radio calls over guard, um, it's possible he could have thought that, I suppose. Yeah, and I do want to give him and his crew the benefit of the doubt here, but since you've heard the apology he issued on air, how do you feel about this entire situation, these exaggerations? Do you, are you personally offended by it? I don't make any judgments on that. Everybody has to live with the life they choose to lead. Um, I was there to do a job, part of a volunteer army. I did my job. Uh, part of that mission was to carry Mr. Williams and uh, his crew with him uh, up to objective rams. If he made mistakes, I mean, we're all human. Um, but I make no judgments on him in that regard. Chief Kelly, thank you for sharing what you remember from that day. I appreciate it. It was my pleasure. Thank you for having me.